Spoken words from the minds behind your music. At your request, Duran Duran. We are on a whirlwind promotion tour. Yeah, indeed. We're in Miami, believe it or not. Does it look like Miami? I think so. But a few minutes ago, we were in New York. And a few moments before that, we were in Canada. <coughs> and a few moments from now, we'll be in Hollywood. The last two years, last three years, after we made the wedding album, we went on tour. We started working on some covers. We finished that. We made an album. That's been released. And now we're doing this whole trip for this album. And when, uh, we've also started writing a new studio album back in London. That was before Christmas. We'll finish that at the end of this year. We'll probably come back on tour all around the world in 1996. Put this a little bit <laughs> higher, this can be the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetie! <laughs> so, so how, long, a... how long have you been in the band? We love music and we're going to be making it for a long time. There's always pressure. Life's about pressure. Yeah, and I think, when, when, I mean, we made the wedding album and it was a real big surprise to us that it happened so quickly and came back. We knew it was good music. But, you know, there's no way we were ever going to try and repeat the formula of that uh, album. And um, that's one of the reasons why we kind of went for this covers album idea, because there's no way we would be kind of being untrue to ourselves and our own sense of excitement and fun, which is really what keeps us in the music industry, the chance to try new things. <laughs> Well, one of the covers we did on the album is Lou Reed's Perfect Day. I think Duran Duran's version of Perfect Day is possibly the best re-recording of a song of mine. You know, we were more interested in the American music scene at the time. We had great things. We had David Bowie and we had Roxy Music and the glam rock scene. But John and I particularly were really interested in what was going on in New York City, which was Lou Reed and Iggy Pop was there. Duran Duran, a group of warm, wonderful and civilized human beings. We always have to spend far too much time traveling. Yeah. And um, we're, we're Nick what? really is in charge of crit I, itinerary critique. critique. Yeah, well, I'm looking into cloning though. If we could clone ourselves, everything would be fine because then when the record company want you to be in New York, LA, London, hey, wait. Tokyo, no, that's not same day. Happen, okay? Right, yeah. come on! We're dealing in reality. Sony. Just yeah. rely on the Sony Corporation, right. I tell you. Something's going to happen. Nick. He's the artistic one. We've got John. He's the beautiful one. We've got Warren. He's the weird one. And we've got Simon. I'm the scary one. Woof woof! It's one great way of making your time, making time for yourself. And that is when you're in the middle of the interview, you just go whoosh. What are you looking at me for? What are you looking at me for? Well, white lines. <laughs> um, the song we all really liked from the early 80s, you know, when we were in New York, when we first came to America, we all remember it in the clubs there. We figured, get that dog out of here, we <laughs> figured, um, you know, we could do a version that was much more electric, we've been playing it on tour, <laughs> it's been going down great with the audiences, because they, I don't know, I guess they connected with the same nerve with that song that we did. We were on our way to New York, so we called up Grandmaster Flash and Melly Mel and Purify, as one would. They were kind of interested in doing a version with us, so we went in the studio, hung out for a while, had a chat, laid down some, laid down some tracks. tracks, laid down some grooves, and this is what happened with White Line. A month after we came from Japan, we recorded White Lines with the brand, the brand, and my man. We we'll don't stick up, but we'll still put the money in our hands while the furious kick White Lines with the brand, the brand. perfect day. Drink sangria in the bar. Then later, when it gets dark, we go home. When we're in the United States of America, we watch the box. When I'm in England, I watch the box. We're whenever, always watching the box, man. Whenever I want to see one of my videos, I call up the box.